I wouldn't like to look back on my career and say I spent all of my time building programs to count razor blades. I felt I'd be able to probably do something a little bit more valuable and that I'd be perhaps a little bit more proud of. All I've ever done is worked in IT. It's the first job I ever had in 1970. I mean, it was all huge, huge computers, spinning tapes, punch cards, paper tape, you know. I came up with the, 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 the first notion that perhaps IT could help solve a problem. Today it's, it's one and a half thousand people a day die from malaria and that's unbelievable. I asked the question, why are so many people dying? And the answer was uh, that it's to do with the difficulty of matching the patient with the medication. It did strike me that perhaps this was an IT problem. Once you get to Africa, and you get the red dust between your toes, you fall in love with the place. We spent uh, a month in Tanzania, uh, traveling right throughout the country and visiting all levels of the uh, health system to try and diagnose what, where the problem was, why the medicines were not ending up in the remote health facility. We said, if we could develop a way where you could see every week the exact stock level of medicine in all of your health facilities, would, would that help you solve the problem? It's very difficult to judge how many lives we, we might have affected. I mean, in the pilot alone, uh, we know at the end of the pilot, there were 300,000 people had access to malaria medicine that had no access to that medicine at the start of the pilot. One trip we were visiting a fairly remote uh, health facility and the mother had brought in a child, a very young infant, who had malaria. Uh, and I normally, if I meet a child or a mother, I'll try and follow up afterwards to see you know, what the outcome was, etc. We went off on our trip, we were doing surveillance trips, we were visiting health facilities, checking their stock. And on the way back, we passed by the same facility and I stopped and we went in to see and the child wasn't there anymore. And, and per perhaps that, that struck me. Yeah, so what, what struck me then was maybe we were too late. That if somehow we could have had the project live there earlier, this wouldn't have happened. And this child would have had the medicine when they went and the child would have survived. So perhaps in a roundabout way, it, it's the negative side of it that gives me more of a, a, an energy and a satisfaction knowing that we're bringing a, a solution that can uh, avoid situations like this. My name is Jim Barrington. I'm the program director for uh, the SMS for Life uh, program.